evidence that led crews to dig up a field. They were looking for the body of a teenager who's been missing for more than two years now. Eyewitness News has learned that police think Travis Baker's body was buried there. And today they dug up human remains and are now working to identify them. Eyewitness News has been following the search for Travis Baker since he was last seen. The 19-year-old disappeared in April 2007. He was last seen near Hickory. Police suspect he's dead. But until today, they haven't had any strong leads as to where he may be buried. Here's a look at where crews search today. It's a field behind a house on Eulalia Lane. That's off of Long Island Road, south of the town of Catawba. And Eyewitness News reporter Dave Faraday started getting phone calls around 4 this morning. The crews were out there searching for Baker's remains. He joins us now live from the scene. Dave? Vince, we're at the end of the driveway leading down into the property behind me. Behind those woods that you see right there is where they have been searching for the better part of two days. Tonight, we know from these court documents why they came here and what they found back there. We were there as sheriff deputies searched the property south of the town of Catawba. It is here along this fence line. Investigators found skeletal remains in a shallow grave. From Chopper 9 Sky Zoom, you can see the large open field behind the home property owner who did not want his face on camera says deputies made the discovery under a pile of wood. I think I'm an observant person but I never noticed anything moved around. According to a search warrant deputies came to the property to look for the body of 19 year old Travis Baker. A confidential informant told authorities a man claimed he murdered Travis Baker and not only buried his body here but also the front bumper of the red Camaro the teenager was driving that day. Travis Baker's father spoke with us after learning the remains may be his son. He was my best friend, and uh, I'll never give up. And uh, this here, if it could resolve, but I'll never have my son again. Baker and his family have spent the last two years searching for the 19-year-old, putting up flyers, never giving up hope that he was still alive. The developments here today have diminished those hopes. Tonight, they want whoever is responsible caught and punished. I want justice uh, harsh and swift. And just before the newscast, I talked with the lead investigator by phone about the case. He tells me right now they have not positively identified the remains out here as Travis Baker. Also, so far, no arrests have been made in this case. Reporting live from Catawba County, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.